Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Chilerak. How are you all doing today? Oh, Mo, I'm super excited today. Uh, honestly, I did not believe the outcome of this uh, this top. I made this off shoulder crop top from the pieces I was meant to throw away. <laughs> you know, I made a post. I said, "Don't throw away your pieces." Yeah, yeah I really meant it. Okay, so. Uh, while I, I'm at it, I was okay. Let me just film it. Maybe somebody, somebody else will will want to do something like this too with their leftover fabric. So yeah, if this is something that you're interested on, please stay to the end. Let me show you. So let's get started, guys. So on my table here, I have my fabric already that I'm going to use, and my two sleeve. Okay, they I have two pieces that I'm going to use as my sleeves and so that is the lucky part i have on this top and exactly the the volume of the sleeve that i wanted it was actually enough for me to use so now the the next thing i'm going to do now uh first of all my fabric is being folded into two okay so it's being folded into two so my rainbow circumference divided by two yeah that is it and so the measurement you need to be taking from your chest line to the desired length of your top okay and then from the the second one is your rambo second phrase okay so once if you have this measurement ready um uh, you're going to get started now okay so i'm taking my measurement now to be to confirm my rambo second phrase divided by two is 17 inches okay and i'm going to add one inches a one inch for the fold where I'm going to create my my um, my strap channel yeah so I'm adding one inch there so I will use it to fold in to create my strap channel so that is what I marked now so I'm going to connect this line so I can cut off the remaining excess so the um, one, once I'm satisfied with that I'm going to take the length of my crop top so the length of my top is 12 inches this measurement is being taken from my chest line to, to the desired length of my top so yeah it's 12 inches i'm going to use a 0 0.5 for folding the, the the upper part and also 0 0.5 to fold the hemming part okay so um after then i'm going to cut this excess from the bottom part of uh if you notice this uh, fabric has um it has pattern so i'm trying to follow up the pattern so yeah so once i'm done cutting i'm going to keep this one aside okay yeah my front bodies my back bodies are ready so i'm going to move on to the sleeves so i'm going to be taking the measurement of my sleeves okay my sleeve length uh first of all the width of my sleeve is nine inches exactly nine inches as you can see and then the, i'm going to be taking uh 20 inches long that that's going to be the the length of my sleeve i'm going to be using 0 0.5 inch for the folding from the um the upper part also the 0 0.5 from my ribs okay so yeah i'm going to mark that 20 inches right there you all know me i always repeat my measurement because i i don't want to have one part of my pattern longer than each other okay so yeah once i'm done i'm going to connect this line now so i can cut off my my pieces uh, cut off my two sleeve rather Yep. So once I'm done from here, I'm going to cut up the my my um strap the the strap that I'm going to use. Okay, I'm going to cut out the strap. So yeah, uh, this the length of the strap is uh forty forty five inches. Okay. So after I'm done, the next thing I need to overlock all the rough edges. So if you don't have overlocking, I will advise you just um, if, uh, just fold in twice, okay, and stitch it, okay. 
so i have my overlocking machine here so that is why it's easy for me to do this so i'm going to overlock all the rough edges all the rough edges then before i will move to the next thing but first i will iron it first before i will head back to my ironing uh, sewing machine so i'm going to show you how you you're going to place your elastic so there is elastic on this i forget to say earlier okay so the elastic i'm going to use you're going to take the the measurement of uh, your runway circumference you're going to minus uh, uh six inches from it okay your runway circumference okay then minus six inches from it then from your bust also your runway circumference minus six inches from it okay so once you have done like it's like you see me doing i'm going to attach it like so and i'm going to be stitching it down like that okay so while i was filming this part i didn't know that my memory space was not enough so it stopped before i i noticed so i have to stop again to delete some stuff from the from the code before i continue but before then it was too late i have already um uh, finished with the bodies before i noticed so now i'm going to use this opportunity now to show you how what i did from the bodies okay so this is the sleeve okay so i'm going to grab my my elastic like you, you see me doing right now okay from the part where i join okay you're going to place your elastic right there in the middle okay and then you're going to pin it to secure it so when you're going to start joining it will not move uh move away okay so now the next thing i need to do i need to start stitching please make sure you stop stitch okay like you see what i say you almost want to take off <laughs> okay so yeah while you're at it make sure you backstitch backstage so um it will not move out well when you are going to be dragging the um, elastic okay so please pay close attention and see what i'm doing all right i hope you're learning something new today if you do please do give this video a thumbs up okay and if you're yet to subscribe to my channel if you're seeing my channel for the first time please and if you're yet to subscribe Please subscribe and turn on your post notification so you will not miss out on any tutorial okay so i'm going to repeat this uh step uh, uh step that i'm doing okay i'm going to repeat it all of my sleeves i'm going to do the same thing to all my sleeves like this both the upper part and also my the lower part of my sleeves okay yeah so uh you're going to be doing that for all the sleeves so once if you get to the, the the part where you start from the beginning you're going to stop it there and then you're going to backstitch it like you see me doing okay and then um, i'm going to trim off all these rough edges so i can do the the second step so please you're going to wash carefully here okay so uh once i'm done okay i'm going to fold in like you see me doing okay please pay close attention you're going to fold in like that and then you stop stitch if you do this you're going to have a very nice clean finish uh sleeve okay so like you see what i'm doing uh if you're finding it difficult to fold in like you see me doing use your pin okay and pin it down so you secure it before you start joining but once if you start joining everything is going to become easier you don't need to pin around all right so yeah so you're going to be doing that this is the same thing i did from the 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 main bodies okay so this is what i did while, while i was working on the top before the phone stopped recording all right so you're going to fold in once you feel once you, you're done joining your elastic to the to the hemming part okay and then you're going to fold it like that and then you're going to start uh, stitching them round you're going to repeat the same thing all the way all your sleeve or every part of your fabric or your pieces okay every part that you added um that you add um uh, elastic yeah you're going to do that to this
so um i want to be sure once i'm done I'm, I'm going to trim off all those uh, rough edges those thread so i'm sizing my slave to see how fit and how free it is and this is exactly how i want it to be i don't want it to be too tight on my on my ribs so yeah so i was actually happy with the result and yeah so the next thing like you see what i said okay you're going to have this clean nice finish from the inside like so once if you do this okay so i'm going to repeat the same thing for all my sleeves joining the the upper part also so right now i'm working on the upper part where it's going to stay uh on my on my bicep okay so this part is going to be the part that is going to be on my bicep so i'm repeating the same thing like i did on this uh, ribs okay so guys i'm done i'm done done like like done done <laughs> with all my sleeves yeah so i'm trimming off the rough edges so the next now i'm going to work on my strap so the width of my strap is 1.5 inches so i'm going to be uh, stitching it down with 0 0.5 inch okay and take note that the length of my strap is 45 inches so you can do more than that you can do lesser but i think 45 inches is the best uh, uh catch to go with okay so i'm going to uh, stitch it down and then the next thing i'm i'm going to be working on how to attach the sleeve to the bodies okay so please pay close attention to here so uh when i fold uh, the uh, i fold my pieces into two so there was the help that i had that crease line that i already know that that is where my uh, the midpoint of my dress is so yeah that part that that is this the, the crease part so i'm going to fold in again i'm going to fold this top into two into two again so that means the total is four inches uh, four times fold okay so i'm um, trying to find the uh, the part where i'm going to attach my sleeves okay so that everything can be equal so i'm going to grab my sleeve i'm still holding on to it okay just like you see me doing i'm still holding on to it i'm going to grab my sleeves and i'm going to look for the part where uh i join my sleeve together okay and also uh, in the case where you know your the the lower part of your sleeve also and also your the upper part of your sleeves okay so like you see what i'm doing i'm going to place that part that i join to the part that i feel like okay that is the side of my dress okay i'm going to pin it down so i can top stitch it there to join the sleeve together just like you see me doing okay i'm going to do the same thing to the other sleeves what i i'm doing here i'm going to repeat it on my sleeves okay um on the, the other sleeves that is what i'm going to do so that is it so the the second sleeve now uh since i did not put any mark so uh, the easier way for you to also uh, get the the second part uh, correct okay i'm going to uh, grab the the center front like you see me doing okay the two center front like that i'm going to grab it and also just um and uh, match it together like that okay so now i already know when i'm going to attach my sleeve so so you see so i'm going to pick it up from there so right now i'm going to use that uh, the other sleeve where i joined the two sleeves together okay where i joined it together i'm going to use that as a guideline so i'm going to get my other sleeves i'm trying to arrange it so i'm going to get the other sleeves now and then i'm going to use it to to fix it for the the same the same spot but not this together okay for the other part okay so i'm also going to locate the part where i join my sleeve together okay you see the part where i join my sleeve together i'm going to use that part also to join to the other side of my top like so 
so basically uh, we are coming to the end of this uh, tutorial uh, it's just a very simple very 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 simple and easy to make if not for the filming i'm filming at the same time uh i believe i will i'll finish with this top in less than 45 minutes so it's something that you can quickly do even though if you want to go into business with it this is something that you can you can do and i believe is there is uh, is profitable okay so yeah uh i want to appreciate you so much if you are watching to this uh, this moment thank you so much for watching and um if you're yet to subscribe please subscribe you know please subscribe and um don't forget to turn on your post notification okay so you will not miss out on another tutorial okay so once i'm done pin all my my sleeve together and i'm satisfied the way it is so i'm going to uh stop stitch it there that uh, it, not much maybe you can just uh so in like like a distance like a 1.5 inches is enough 1.5 inches is enough but make sure you backstitch okay backstitch it enough so it will not uh uh pull out i don't know i'm not sure it's going to pull out but yeah but you have to backstitch okay so uh like seriously my top is ready like really 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 ready so at this point i was so much i was like oh boy i can't wait to put this top on i can't wait i can't wait oh man this is something i'm i would love to recreate again with another print because it's actually very easy it doesn't take me much time if not because of this or uh, filming or uh, going here coming back there that took so much time if not if i'm doing this without filming it's something that i can i will even produce like 10 in a day or even more so yeah so um i'm trying to confirm the the length of my strap okay so yeah so like i said earlier is 45 inches okay so that is the length of my strap and uh yeah so I'm going to show you how you can fix in the loop, okay? So I'm going to grab my loop toner and then I'm going to uh, fix in the loop toner like so. And then I'm going to grab my my strap and then pin it to the loop toner and then turn, uh, uh, pass it through the, the channel where I created, okay? So yeah, I'm going to repeat the same thing on the other side. So if you're still watching to this moment, please thank you so much. I so much appreciate you all. My returning subscriber or the first time I, I appreciate you all. And if you're yet to subscribe, please subscribe so you will not please subscribe so you will not miss out on any tutorial, okay? So and if you recreate this stuff, please I would love to see your recreation. You can share it on my social media handle, Instagram or my facebook account okay i'm going to leave the link on my description box and you can also check out some other tutorial i will be leaving them on the description box okay thank you so much for watching i will see you on another tutorial